what's up everyone welcome to my channel this video will be a tutorial on how to use the draw.io platform to create diagrams and flow charts so let's get right to it uh, draw.io is a platform or a website that allows you to create for free uh, pretty powerful diagrams and flow charts if you are doing like uh, mind mapping or if you are brainstorming with ideas uh, for a project and uh, even a personal uh, like uh, project so here you need to go to their website that's draw.io and you'll be redirected to their website you'll first need to select your storage and you can even decide later so for now i'll decide later you can store them the, directly on your computer or onedrive google drive dropbox and other locations so let's decide later or now and here you'll get this blank uh, canvas where you can uh, create your flowcharts and you can even here get like or start from templates i'll show you that in like a second here you can uh, switch between the dark theme and the light theme or automatic and you can here edit the canvas settings so you can turn on and off the grid you can turn on and off page view so this is like a page if i zoom out so if i zoom out here by pinching dragging pinching in with my two fingers on my trackpad i can see that this is a page i can create my chart here however if i turn off the page view i can literally like uh, draw or create my flow chart in an infinite like space now here i can change the background color let's go back here within the page i can here edit the page if it's letter or a4 a2 a3 so depending on the number uh, like the type of uh, page if you are deciding on printing your design and here i can decide a background color let's say i like a pink background for example okay apply and it will be applied i can add shadows and sketch so let's give it uh, get it back to uh, disable like the background color let's cancel disable that here and it can choose between portrait and landscape uh, pages if i want to and here i can go to style to uh, like select the style of the drawing here different colors outlines and text colors and stuff like that so now let's uh, stick with the basic now let's uh, decide to create a flowchart uh, starting with this general shape so i have general some general shapes i have some uh, advanced shapes some tables some uh, icons and stuff like that and you can choose whichever you decide to start from and when you hover over any of them you can get like uh, a sense of how it looks like or how these shapes are supposed to look like now let's start from a uh, layout a simple tree layout or a flow chart here okay just drag and drop it and here i can click here on the rotating like circle to rotate it i can here zoom in to make it bigger and now i can uh, on any element here or on any like rectangle i can double click to edit the text let's say this is the main okay and on any element if i click i get the options here i can change the style change the color and here i can change the fill color let's make it like a light green apply and the lines i can make the line dotted line so it's the border line and i can increase or decrease the perimeter if i want to now i can also increase and decrease the opacity so let's make it like 50 percent opacity okay which will give it like a translucent look i can change the corners to rounded uh, i can change the uh, like material to glass let's uh, crank up the transparency pretty quickly uh, sketch or shadow let's say i like the sketch here rounded let's keep it uh, rounded and i can click anywhere else to see how it looks like right here looking good actually let's remove the border so i can click on it let's remove the border line okay this looks good and if i go here uh, click on it once again this was the border of the the box itself let's go to the text settings i can edit the alignment i can make it bold italic underlined and so on i can change the font okay let's uh, change it to this i can edit the opacity of the text itself the font color let's uh, make it like a blue color okay and uh, i can also increase the text size and um up uh, make it up or in the middle or move it down if i want to the position is uh, top right i can change the position to the center i can uh, the writing direction make it automatic or left to right or right to left if i want to 
I can also edit the font color, the background color, the border color, and the shadow for the text itself. Now, in the arrange here, I can change the order. So, like, I can bring this element to front or to back if I have many elements stacked uh, together or on top of each other, and so on. Now, let's go ahead and edit this these arrows. Let's link it to this one to the main. Okay, so that when I even if I move the main one, as you can see, they are still linked together in like a flow chart. Okay, and this one as well. Oh, sorry, we it seems we disconnected it. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now I can edit the arrow itself by clicking on it. I can also uh, make the line uh, or enable or disable the line, edit the line color, make it rounded, add the edit the uh, arrow like style. Okay, let's make it like uh, this arrow. And you can also edit the line shape or the make it dotted and the line uh, like uh, thickness and the line end and start and the opacity as well as sketch shadow and flow animation. And here is the, how it looks like. Let's get it back to a straight line or maybe a dotted line here. And uh, let's increase the size, decrease the size of the dots themselves to make it more like in the shape of an arrow. And as you can see, I can add elements as well. Let's drag and drop this uh, switch, for example. Okay, I can drag and drop it anywhere I want to. And by clicking also on the main border, I can edit the text here of the uh, layout, the border. I can also delete elements if I want to. So I deleted the text, clicked on the border. I can delete the whole element. Let's go back. Now, uh, I can get this element here uh, within the box. And I can link it to the child 2, for example. Let's get it under child 2. Okay, maybe under it. And I can link it to child 2. If I go hover over the, any of the boxes here, I can see these little like uh, marks in blue. If I go over any of them, it changes the color to green. And I can, from it, drag. And as you can see, an arrow starts uh, like forming. And it points to whichever direction I'm pointing to. If I go and get it over any of the dots in the corner or on the edges of this new shape, now this shape is like linked to the um, element that or the rectangle that I chose. So in this case, the child too. And I can also edit the arrow uh, shape and size if I want to. And I can edit the color, the uh, thickness of the lines. As you can see, I already showed you the settings before. Now let's uh, go ahead and choose the shape. If I double click, I can add text. Let's uh, make it like test child. Okay, and let's increase the size of the test child to make the text like fit inside. And let's uh, make it like uh, a red. Let's give it a red fill. Okay. Looking good. And in the line, let's make the line, for example, um, gray. Okay, apply. And as you can see, I can create flow charts easily using uh, this technique. I can cl click on the element to start re uh, moving it around. And as you can see, it's still connected to the chart, the child two uh, element here. Now I can add like a uh, bubble, a thought bubble or ribbons or any kind actually of shapes. I can add arrows. I can add flow chart here. So this connector, I can add it. And um, let's connect it here to main. Actually, let's rotate it first. And let's connect it to main. I can drag here and drop it. So this is like a free element. Let's drag it to uh, the bottom here and go ahead and link it to this diagram. And as you can see here, it's successfully linked. And I can also link uh, two other elements to the two ends of this like line. Let's add this tube, for example. Okay, let's um, let's link it. Okay, this one. And I can also move it, as you can see. And let's add this uh, circle. And let's link it also. To the shape let's link it in on the side here and as you can see they are linked now for any element i can change the settings the color the line the shape and the style and so on i can add text in the middle 
and as you can see here i've created like a beautiful chart now of course my changes are all unsaved since i haven't changed i haven't uh, uh, like chosen a location to save to automatically save however i can click here to save to uh, like any location google drive or uh, my device my computer github browser download and so on and i can also uh, change the name and if i want to export it i can click on file i can import from uh, these storages as well as i export as png jpeg pdf and other formats so that was pretty much it that's how easy it is to use the draw.io platform to create beautiful and uh, useful diagrams and flowcharts.